in this video we're going to look at how to make a very nice banner you can use this for your web ads or web banners or billboard banners it all depends on how you resize this and because today is black friday i'll be using jumia for this particular tutorial and the iphone 11 pro without any further ado let's jump right into the video Hey everybody, Innocent here. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So we're heading into Photoshop and we're going to create a new document. You can choose any size depending on where you are using it, whether for web art or website. So I'll go to file and then new and then I'm going to set a new document of 36 by 18 inches. That is approximately 3 by 1.5 feet. And then I have my resolution at 100 because I want it to be very small and to save space. So I go ahead and I click OK. You should be having something like this. Now next off, I'm going to add a solid color to this particular document. So I'll go for the solid color. I'm actually extracting this from the iPhone that I'm using. I extracted the color from the iPhone that I'll be using. So basically you can look at the item that you are using first before you choose your colors so it is picking this foreground color which is, which is this one here because i've already set the foreground color here so I'll go ahead and i'll click ok next off i'm going to my view and to the new guideline over here and then i'm going to change this one to 50 so i set i divide the document into two and then i'm going to pick my rectangle tool here and i'm going to draw a rectangle in the middle of this one so I just draw a rectangle here and then I come to this side, change the color to the background color here. So literally I can just change this one right away. So I can just change this one to the background and change this to the rectangle just like that. So basically I just interchange this one. Next off, I'm going to create a new layer on top of this one, choose my brush tool. And because this is the color that I'm currently using, I'm going to hold Alt and pick this color again. And then I'm going to pick something slightly above it. Okay, so I'm going to brush here a couple of times just to create some sort of scene over there. So you can see that that place is a little bit popping. So moving on, I'm going to create another couple of rectangles over here. So I'll pick this rectangle and then I'll draw it over here, like a very small one. I just want to put something at the very edge of the banner. So I'll go up a little bit and this is the color that I'm using. So you can go a little bit upwards. That is it. So that is it. So you click OK and then you make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl J. And then you're going to drag this one down because it's the same color. That's why you're not seeing anything. So you're going to go upwards a little bit again so you can leave it like this or perhaps this is the design that i went for actually this is the design that i went for so you can see you can also do it this way let me know in the comment section which is your favorite between the two so i leave it over here and then we are good to move on next off i'm going to my resources these are a couple of resources that i downloaded from the internet and this is the iphone 11 pro midnight color so i'll drag it into photoshop and then I'll open it up here. So I told you that I derived the colors that I'm using from the iPhone. So I'll drag it somewhere around here like that neatly. I don't want it to be in the middle because I'll use just this space. Okay. So I right click on this one and then rasterize the layer. I press Ctrl M that is to activate the curves. I'm going to add a couple of curves because it is too brightening. I don't want it too brightening like that. So I drag the curves a little bit down to tally with the background. Okay, so I'll click OK from here and then I'll go back to my resources. I'll go for my Jumia logo. This is the Black Friday logo. And then I'll draw or I'll drop it inside of Photoshop. And then I'm going to place it at a very extreme left right over here next off i'm going to add a couple of tests to it but before then i'll come underneath of my iphone and then i'm going to draw another rectangle a different one that is what i'm going to put the specs and the amount the price inside of it so i'm going to change this color to this particular one the deep one 
and then I'm going to bring it somewhere around here. It looks clean. So next off, I'm going to add my test to it. So I'll go for my test tool and then I'm going to use this font called ETH. I'll put a link to download it in the description. So the first test that I'm going to add is the Jumia Black Friday. So that test, I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform it, pin it up like that. And then I'm going to change the color to the deep one over here. Okay, so because it's deep, you're not seeing it. So I'll send it to this side. And then I want to make sure that it is underneath of the iPhone 11 Pro. So it's supposed to be at this side, sort of a nice background, something inside of that, that place. I just want to place it over there. And the next test that I'm going to add is live now. So live now, I'm going to pick a color that is a little bit brightening. So I'll go for this color here and then I'll click OK. And then I'll press Ctrl T to transform it and place it over here. So I don't really want this color or I don't know the color that you're going to use. But then I prefer to come here and pick this color, something a little bit like this. And then I'll click OK. Now I'm going to add another test. So I'll pick my test tool, start typing. And this time around, I'm going to use the font called Railway. So I'm going to type. And this was actually extracted from the Jumia website. So it's Black Friday, every Friday. So in the month of November, every Friday is Black Friday for Jumia. You're going to get some amazing deals. So you can shop if you want to save some bucks. And then I'll choose um, the semi bold over here. I think the semi bold is even bold, medium. Okay, let's go for the semi bold. And then I'll bring it over here. Press Ctrl T and then I'm going to resize that one also or transform it anyhow you want to say it. So I'll go for this color that I chose earlier on. So something brightening, not so white, but something creamy, creamy stuff like that. And then I'll place this one too over here. So it means that this particular offer is live now from today, Friday to then the end of November, every Friday is Jumia Friday and it's Black Friday. Okay, so next off, we're going to add the specifications. So I'm going to uh, duplicate my test from here and then I'll drag it to this side. So that is what I'm actually going to use for the iPhone specification. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro. Actually, every information that I'm putting this is from the website. So if I get it wrong, that means it's from the website. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro and it's the midnight color. Okay, so I'll duplicate it again and I'll drag it inside of this one and then I'm going to edit this one. But I've already copied the test, so I'm going to paste it just like that to save some time. And then I'm pressing Ctrl T to transform it. So I'll bring it over here. So this is the specification of the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, actually, I took the screen size, the, the memory, that, that is the RAM, and then the battery capacity. And then I'm going to duplicate that again, bring it down, and then I'm going to change this one to the price. So according to the website, it is $1,099. And because this is a banner, sort of a deal banner, it means that it has to reduce in price. So I'm bringing this to $999. That is, it is moved from... 1099 to 999 so i'm going to change this font also to eth and then i'll open it up press ctrl t to transform it open it up and then i'll bring it over here now i'm going to add a rectangle to this one so sort of a rectangle so a sort of a rectangle that is going to cross this one out and it, it has to pick the color of the background that we are using so this color here then it crosses it out so it means that we've moved from 1099 to 900 or 9 999 dollars that is you're saving a couple of money over there finally because this can literally be used for web banners i'm going to add a shop now so um i'm going to pick my rounded rectangle and i'm going to create a rounded rectangle over here something very small 
and then i'm going to change the color to the colors that i've been using for this font so something bright and then i'll position it over here now i'm going to add a text to it that says shop now and then i'm changing that color to the background color over here so i change it here and this is the color and then i'll click ok and make sure that i drag this inside of the rounded rectangle so basically that says anything that you want to add to this banner will be your own creativity level you can make this one very thin like very small and that is how to design a very nice banner you can integrate this for your web banners for your advert banners for billboard banners and also i've got a couple of items over here that you can use in place of the iphone 11 pro so if you want to download them a link will be in the description to check them out so if you want to replace the iphone with this particular system over on the laptop here all that you need to do is you come to the iphone and then you take it off and then you can bring in your laptop so you drag and drop it here but obviously sometimes there's going to be a couple of tweaks around it you have to tweak it around it a couple of times and then you have to make sure that the background colors the colors blend so that is it if you want to use any of the resources that i've provided like i said a link will be in the description so you check that out let me know about your thoughts about this particular tutorial and let me know about your thoughts about let me know about your thoughts about the colors and everything else thank you so much for watching don't forget it's black friday go shop and save some money i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye